NFL insider Michael Lombardi is here to offer up his take now. Uh, Michael, there are reports that team executives around the league want harsh penalties for the Titans. So what is a fair punishment here? Well, you know, I mean, it depends on the schedule. I mean, the, the schedule really makes it very difficult. The NFL has booked hotel rooms for the entire month of February in case they need to extend the season. Now, I think they did that because they felt like maybe they would have to shut down a week or two the entire league. They didn't do that because one team is just not following the protocols and the procedures that were laid out. So, you know, I could see a sharp fine. I could see draft picks being taken away. I mean, look, the league has taken draft picks away for, you know, I don't want to talk about it, but a most ridiculous case yep. in terms of footballs. But that's besides the point. The reality here is this is affecting everyone's schedule, and it's making it rather difficult. Remember, Buffalo plays on Thursday night. It's going to be really challenging. And how soon should the league get comfortable with the idea of adding weeks to the end of the season or having some teams play fewer games than others? Because randomly gifting teams wins because of forfeits seems like a terrible option, in my opinion. It, it, it puts an asterisk on the season, and you don't want to do that. You know, you could say the Lakers have an asterisk if they win the NBA title tonight. But the reality of it is there's no asterisk. I mean, they've competed at the highest level. It's been actually harder than you would think. You know, yes, there's been no travel. But when you start giving games, games away and you start putting win co wins in somebody else's column you got to put an asterisk next to that and I think that's the challenge and I don't think the league wants to do that I think the league wants to avoid that at all costs however they need to remind the players that it's really important to comply uh, if like one or more teams are unable to complete like a 16 game season here where do you sit on like the idea of the league determining its playoff field based on win percentage and not actual wins I, I think it once again, I think unless we can get everybody to play 16 games, because that means everybody gets paid, nothing really makes sense to me. We've got to figure out a way to do that. There's a report that the Patriots asked for more space at Arrowhead on Monday night. I don't know what you know about this here, Michael, but trying to socially distance a little more outside of a, a, a thousand square feet that they were relegated to and they were denied. Yeah. So uh, what should the league do to improve this situation? Well, I mean, look, Kansas City's locker room is small. I mean, it's ridiculously small. It's small before COVID. You go in there and it's got a little area for coaches. It's got a little area for players. It's not a spacious, luxurious locker room. And that's what they want. And so, you know, they had to anticipate this was going to be an issue. You would think they would have done something to help that situation, whether it be, you know, add, you know, close down a meeting room or do something. The Chiefs practice, they have their own practice facility and they have meeting rooms in the state. Stadium there, So you literally have to walk through the Chiefs meeting rooms to go up to the, the press box. So they should have done something more because that locker room is one of the worst locker rooms in the NFL for what is a really nice stadium. Yeah, and besides that, do the Patriots have a right to be irritated with the league having them play a game against Kansas City last Monday considering the situation with everything? Well, I mean, look, the Patriots should be irritated. I think more than anything, you should be irritated that they didn't take into account that the locker room needs to have distance. I mean, the one thing about Foxborough and, and, and Gillette Stadium, there's a bunch of locker rooms and no player will feel uncomfortable how they're split up there because they can utilize all the locker rooms within the stadium. And I think that's the biggest issue that Kansas City didn't do. Uh, do you think the league is going to make teams like travel and play same day, like with the Patriots? I hope after not. What we're seeing with uh, Stephon not. Gilmore? I hope not. I think that was really challenging for the Patriots. It's easy to say, you know, in the league office, we'll just fly the team out there on that day and fly them back. Yeah, you don't have to make that travel. That's a hard trip, and it's a hard trip when you have to play a game the next week. All right, my friend, uh, hang tight. Sealy needs to get the 411 with the on-field side of this Patriots-Broncos game.